Well, this is pretty cool. I um, I love coming. I love coming. I love coming to new places and um, having a look around and sort of getting to see everything for the first time and explore. And I've never been down here before at Drake's um, Drake's Brook Weir or Dam, whatever you call it. Really small piece of water, obviously by the look of it now. Uh, I think it's only about a k, k and a bit long from point to point uh, in the main body of water in front of me. But just thought I'd do something different. Uh, I've done Harvey, and Harvey's been a bit tough, and all the tracks have been closed down, so you have to launch the ramp. And I just don't fancy going down there at the moment. And Waruna is, um, well, it's Waruna. Um, so yeah, we'll give this a crack. We'll get everything ready, and I've just seen a trout boil in front of me. So um, <laughs> get this yak set out and, and get in the water. Okay, switching to the GoPro now. And I may seem excited. I've just seen a trout quite literally leap out of the water about 100 meters in front of me. And um, well, I'm not wasting my time. I'm going to catch that fish. Well, I think that's about right. Let's go through what we can do. That's a little jerk bait. It's real flashy. Rainbow trout pattern. It's um, seeing as it's quite sunny at the moment. Bit of flash. Wouldn't go straight, I don't think. It's almost straight through flurry outfit, so it's going to be hard to, to twitch it a bit, but. Oh! There's one. Just a couple of fish. Holy shit. Surely I can hook one of these. Is this normal? Oh, another one. What the hell? Maybe that's a troll. It's kind of cheating. So let's go for a troll. Huge. Oh, I forgot my GoPro pole. That's what I forgot. Looks like you're getting mouthy all day. Enjoy that. I'm stick it in the holder. God, it doesn't feel me with confidence. Ah, you're all over the place. Um, I think I hooked a fish. The rod just buckled over and then stopped and then buckled again. No drag came off. No, it's definitely a fish. I think it's a trout. I think it might be already. That's a good start. <clears throat> oh. That's a good one. Oh, shake, shake, shake. Don't throw the hooks. Who's kind of heavy. I'm going to need a net. Come here. Oh, there it is. Is that a trout? That might be a trout. What the hell? Oh. Um. Is this normal? I only caught a couple of very small trout in my time. Oh, it's a big rainbow. <laughs> Hello. Wow, that's cool. Wow, it's a fat. Holy shit. I don't know, that, that seems big. That seems very big. I'm on three. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm only on three pounds straight through. So I didn't really put much pressure on it. But I feel like this is big for a rainbow trout in these sort of areas. It looks pretty fat. It's got no tail, so it's obviously it's must be brood stock from that last release. <laughs> um, that is a nugget of a trout, and I'm tip wrapped. Oh my god! Wow! Oh, there goes the hook. Um, pliers. How good's that? Ooh. I've only been here for five minutes. That's a big trout. You know, I'm going to chuck him back. Yeah, it kicked off. It paused for a second there, but it kicked off. Well, it's gone from sunny and warm all of a sudden to um, fat. It's <laughs> in the last, I reckon, 30 seconds, it has just gone very dark. The temperature's dropped by a few degrees, and I think I'm about to get um, a little bit moist. I've, uh, I've been told the trout fishing is all about being a bit inconspicuous and hard to see, hide yourself from the trout. 
nailed it. Maybe we'll bust some myth today. It's what you always see in those uh, old illustrations of fishermen, always wearing those yellow overalls and jackets. Vintage, getting back to our heritage. <laughs> well, we're on. It took a while. I was getting a bit sad. The fuck is that? A stick. Surely not. The fuck is that? That's already, but it hasn't done any fighting whatsoever. Oh, there it goes. Wake up. <laughs> oh, it was very slow. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. That one. Crunch the lure out of the rod holder. Hit it really hard. With the sound of being dead, I decided to just hit some edges and and see what I could find and uh, just prospecting until the sun starts to go down. So I'll take that. It's good. I'm glad I've got fillets. <laughs> the last few times I've come down here with ice, I haven't caught any fish. So maybe we've broken the curse. Good size ready. Number one. There he goes. I don't know how I lost it. I swear I hooked something. Yeah, there's a fish on there. Surely. I felt a kick. <laughs> oh no. Well, it's, it was there. Got him that time. You probably didn't see any of that, but that's okay. There's that one. Just lip hooked. I like it when plan comes together. Or oh, plan B, C, X, Z. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, get this guy on ice and go again. Well, it's only small. Having the vibe seems to be the only thing they're going at the moment. <laughs> vibe seems to be the only thing they're going at the moment, so we'll keep plugging over that and might go for a troll back up and start my drift again. Well, that one's a little bit more edible. Bad size little fin for the pan. Oh, and it's a little in my leg. He plays percussion over there. I've got one on a jig. <laughs> Slow pitched red fin, anybody? <laughs> I think I found a new favourite way of catching these things. Wow, look at that thing. It's huge. Anyway, um, <laughs> on these jigs, which is what I initially wanted to do. They're eating a, a big 18 gram jig with some big, <laughs> big saltwater assist because that's only assist, I, only assist I had. And um, yeah, but it's like you hit the bottom, close the barrel and over, one handle and you're on. They eat it straight away. It's crazy. They don't even hesitate. All right, well, I'm one last one on the troll. At the end of the day, it's only very small. Oh, it's a trout, I think. Or is it a tiny ready? Whatever is it small. It's already. That's an edible one. I think it's about quarter past six. It's um starting to get pretty dark and it's very cold. So I'm gonna turn around, head back over to my car and I think I think we'll call it a day. So that's it, we're done. Um it's very cold. Fingers and toes are frozen. It's getting very dark very quickly. Um, yeah, it's been a good day. It has been actually quite a good afternoon. Um, straight away getting that trout and seeing like a, a half a dozen trout jumping out the water. I didn't realise just how um, how cool that was because it went pretty quiet after for, for trout. And um, <clears throat> and yeah, there was a quite a few few reddies around. I lost lost quite a few, a lot of small ones. Just pulling hooks out of fish but i ended up with quite a quite a few fish in the bag and should have a, a good feed tomorrow night i'll give you a quick look there's a few in there um that's the biggest one that we got first up sort of low mid 30s and um a bunch in there sort of low to mid 20s and a couple of little rats but you know those little ones won't go to waste they'll, uh, they'll give us a good feed for sure they're um they're a tasty fish. <laughs> it's like such a pest and um, it does such damage to, to our native species. They're, um, they're bloody tasty. 
Yeah, I mean, look at what was in one small, small gut. That was like a 20 centimeter fish. And that's, there's like, oh, I don't know, 50, 50 odd baby marin there. It's crazy. Crazy the damage they can do. Um, Chuck it back in. But yeah, so fun day. Um, pretty successful. And um, I think I'll definitely, definitely be back down here. It's, it's a great little system. Well, body of water um nice and small and compact and if you can find a few spots where the fish are schooled up if your sounder doesn't die straight away and you have issues like that you'll be able to find them and yeah i'm definitely back here and hopefully um not too far in the future so thanks for watching if you like the video um give it a like leave a comment and if you want to see more subscribe to the channel it's time for me to get out of here